today's DIY is inspired by Monica Chang's rogue sandals. So it's not the same exact design, but it just inspired me to do a sandal with the ropes on it um, because I love her so much and I thought it was a cool idea. So for this DIY, all you're going to need is rope that I got on Amazon and I got 25 feet of this. That's probably more than you need but I wanted to get more than I needed because I like to have a little wiggle room in case, in case I mess up so I don't run out of material. And then you're going to need black duct tape. If you do black, you could do any color as always, but black duct tape, measuring tape, scissors, a glue gun, and shoes of course. And you don't have to have these exact shoes. These were just in my closet, which is why I'm using these particular ones. But if you just have strappy sandals that are normal with the one strap here and the ankle strap, that works too. So that's all you need. Let's get started. So the first step you're going to do is measure what you need. So the first is the strap around the top of your foot. So you're just going to use the rope and measure that length. And then you're going to use the duct tape to close the end of the rope because it will unravel if you just leave it out. So you want to just use a little piece of duct tape on the end of the rope. You won't even see it or really notice it when it's on the shoe. If you're using similar shoes, if you and you have a middle strap, you want to make sure to measure uh, from the inside around the strap to the other side of the shoe. If you don't have a middle strap, you can go ahead and skip this step. Then you're going to take that measurement and you're going to measure it against the rope. And repeat the step with the duct tape. Now you have your bottom strap and your middle strap. You're going to work on the top strap which is going to be the longest of all. For me I just used the same length that I used on the first shoe and that was 55 inches. That was enough for me to have it loop around once um, so we could get that layered effect that you'll see in the end. And the final step is to glue on the straps. So you're going to make sure you glue this nice and slow. Take your time with this. Um, it'll make it a lot easier and a lot less messy. So you just put a little dab of glue and then you put on the rope. And just keep going in that pattern until you have the whole shoe done. So as mentioned before, if you don't have a middle strap, you can skip this step. For me, the easiest way to do this was to glue it from the inside and then pull the rope around to the outside of the strap and glue it around the edge, around the outside, and then glue the other end on the inside of the shoe. That was the best way for me because you don't want to see the end of the strap um, because of the duct tape. It won't look really pretty on the side. On the bottom of the shoe it's fine because it's kind of hidden um, when you are when you put the shoe on but you will be able to notice this if you leave the duct tape out so you kind of want to glue it from the inside. So 
there's a trick to gluing on the last strap to make sure that you get it right. You just want to make sure that you glue from the middle of the strap. So you want to start from the middle, but first you want to make sure that you have both sides even to each other. Once you make sure it's even, you want to start gluing from the middle out into the back of the shoe. have it rope sandals these are probably one of the most dramatic ones that I've created but I really like how they came out they're really fun and I'm excited to wear them out if you like it give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time